And new at 11 and another eight news exclusive tonight, a Brunswick County family who lost a father and husband to murder is pleading for answers. Their loved one was killed eight years ago when a suspect robbed and shot him at his job. The gruesome act all caught on surveillance camera, but the murder is still unsolved tonight. Eight news reporter Victoria Lucas joining us live in Chesterfield County with the family's push for justice. Victoria, good evening. Eric Heather, good evening to, do, to you. I want to tell you both and those of you at home, this is an emotional report. The family of Jerry Vidal, a Collier, says he was just doing his job working the front desk at the then Econo Lodge back in 2016 when someone came in and took his life. Chesterfield County Police, as Eric says, still continuing to search for new leads. Moments leading up to Collier's death were caught on surveillance video, which we're about to show you. We do want to warn you, this may be difficult to watch. Pray and hope that just to be served, you know, for the people, you know, for what they had done, you know, and we just got to keep our faith up and hope that it do if it. If it don't, we still got to live on. Jerry Collier is relying on his faith as he awaits justice for the unsolved murder of his son, Jerry Vidal Collier. He treated everybody right and he had a smile on his face. He'd know how to treat people and that's the type of person he was, you know. A Collier sisters, Daphne and Erica Collier, sitting alongside their father. They're asking for someone to speak up if they know something. It weighs on us a lot. A Collier's family tells us the 43-year-old was working at the then Econo Lodge in Chesterfield in 2016 when tragedy struck just before 11 p.m. A surveillance video shows a man going into the lobby of the motel, putting a handgun in front of Collier's face, demanding money. Collier then complies with the suspect's demands and hands him the money. But moments later, the suspect shoots him. Think about it. Many days and nights. Shed tears on. A father's worst nightmare, and his son left behind a wife and one-year-old baby girl, who is now nine. The family says as the days, months, and years go by, they're hoping police catch the killer. He was a, a fine young man that, you know, not, don't brag on my son, I just tell you just like how it is. He was good to people, people loved him. And he was named after you, Mr. You Coley. know it. <laughs> And if anyone has information on Collier's death, both Chesterfield County Police and the Collier family is asking you to speak up. And we have information on how you can contact police on our website, WRIC.com. Truthfully, it's the unknown that keeps people awake at night. Eric Heather, back to you.